One of the things that I think about sometimes in reference to my uh, career as an agent was for about 20 years of it, which is about half, I was living in a rented property. And a lot of people used to say, why are you living in a rented property? And the odd thing was, um, at the time I was completely comfortable. I just got married, I was having kids. I wasn't sure if I wanted to move to the country. And that was back in the days when stamp duty was 1%, regardless of what you pay, not the absurd levels it can get to these days, if you're lucky enough to be buying a more expensive property. Um, but the main thing it did for me, which was really unusual, I think, is that rather than be obsessed with the value of my property and having a look at that and thinking that's all that really mattered, what it enabled me to do was to put some money into my business at the time. And actually that's been far more remunerative for me in the long term. And I do think there's a definite part of particularly the British psyche at the moment, which tends to think that you're only ever going to be a valuable member of society or you're going to make any money if you've got prop money in property, which I just think is rubbish. I think it's sort of squishing a whole generation of entrepreneurs and I wish people would think about renting as a perfectly viable option. We've probably got another couple of years of this. So if you are um, considering putting money into a business, do you think about perhaps taking it out of your property and considering renting? I think renting enables you to remain light on your feet. If you do want to get married or you can change your circumstances or they might be changed for you. And for me, 20 years of renting didn't do me any harm. So I hope, that's, I hope that's helpful to some people um, and certainly don't ever regard renting as a second class option.